Hello everybody, this is the Lazzy 88. Welcome back to another Disney Princess Dream Big sticker album video. And I went to the store. <laughs> I wasn't, haven't been very well for a couple of weeks, so I haven't filmed. But uh, as I've been out and about, I've nipped into different places and I have picked up a wad of stickers. Like, look at these bad boys. Look at the amount of stickers I have. So many stickers. I'm going to shuffle a little bit because I have kind of just put them as I bought them. So, let's spread these out. Lots of stickers. And I'm actually going to do 10 packets today because I want to. And it's my video, it's my stickers, and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so let's pick them. I want that one. And this one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's what I've got. Ten packets of stickers. Okay, let's put the book to one side. And without further ado, let us open them and see who we got. I just move my duplicates. I still got hold of those. All right. Hopefully more shiny stickers, <laughs> because, you know, why not? I want shiny stickers. Oh, a shiny sticker! Yes! Okay, we have a Tiana and Prince Naveen sticker. Let's put that there. We have one that I think we have received before, but I will double check. There's a Snow White and Dopey with Grumpy sticker. It's been a couple of weeks, so, and I haven't looked through my duplicates. I know I haven't got this one. This is the three female mice from Cinderella. I think the blue one is Susie. Where's the green one, Susie? The blue one is Susie. So then we have an Aurora and Prince Philip. So there we go. And we have, oh, I should have done that on this one because this one's actually from that scene. <laughs> so there we have another Aurora and Prince Philippe before they knew she was a princess. Okay, second packet. I'm hoping that because I went back at different times to different stores that we have some um, different stickers that maybe they put a new box out or something because there's definitely more at certain times. So. I'm a hoping. Ooh, we got a D sticker, which is uh, Rapunzel. I'm going to have to watch Tangled again soon. I love Tangled so much. We have an Ariel sticker. We have another Ariel sticker with Flounder and Sebastian. Awesome. We have a Cinderella clicking together her magic shoes sticker. There we go. Oh, that's Cinderella there. We have a picture of Merida firing an arrow. Again, I'm not sure if we've received that one. So I will have to double check. Okay, third packet. I'm really hoping that we can fill a lot more pages. I know that there's going to be like the last few stickers that I'm just like, I cannot find these. Um, in which case I may have to order them specifically just so that I can finish my um, sticker album without spending hundreds of pounds on uh, stickers. 
because I've probably already spent over a tenner. We have a D sticker, one of the middle pages, which is Tiana. Not sure if we have that one. Do I have a T? No, the Tiana one. We have Ariel and Flounder. Oh, we have a really, really nice one of Belle with the Beast. That's a lovely sticker. That's probably my favourite so far today. I love that sticker. It's really nice. If I get a duplicate of that, I'm keeping it and putting it on something, like a frame or something. Oh, that's our first Beauty and the Beast one. Then we have the ballroom scene with Beauty and the Beast. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Mrs. Potts, the teapot. This, this is going to be the most romantic teapot ever. <laughs> and then we have Tiana. I think this is during the, not the opening song, but the one where she's talking about opening her own restaurant. She's like, you know, mom, looks there. I think. <laughs> Apologies if I sound a little bit bunged up. I am. Like I say, I have not been the best. I've had a rather bad couple of weeks. And I'm just starting to get over it. And I was like, I haven't done my sticker book in so long. I'm getting withdrawals. I want to do more. So, <laughs> this is a shiny sticker. We have Cinderella in her pumpkin carriage. So there we go, there's another Cinderella. We're actually getting some good Cinderella stickers. We were basically getting the same one of her and the prince over and over and over again. This is her losing her shoe. Love the blue on that one. It's really, really pretty. Oh, and then we have another... No, we haven't had this one. This is Jasmine with a boo and a lamb. That's a lovely one. Really nice. And that's our first Aladdin sticker for today, so that's pretty cool. Then we have another Merida one. It's like another art style one. And this is Ariel with what looks to be a music box. It looks like it's doing part of your world or something. Cool. So I decided to do 10 packets of stickers today because I've done the five pack. I did quite a few videos in one day of the five packs because that's all I had, <laughs> and I wanted to make it last a little bit. But actually, it's gonna there's gonna be so many videos otherwise. So I thought let's do a video with ten packs of stickers. Yeah. So this is Rapunzel and Flynn Rider. And where's Rapunzel? There she is. We have another one of Aurora with all the animals and the fairy godmothers watching over. This is quite obviously not part of the movie. This is an art print afterwards, unless there's a deleted scene, but I don't remember that happening in the movie. Uh, there's Aurora. We have a lovely baby-faced Merida here. She doesn't quite look like she does in the movie. Then we have two close-up bells. I don't think we've received that one, but we might have received that one before. Not quite sure. Not quite sure. That's five packets. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a really long video, guys. I may have to break it up into two parts. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Ooh, I got a fabric one. These are good packets. I got a fabric and glittery one of Merida. Awesome. We also have Tiana baking, I think it's her beignets, it could be cookies, I'm not quite sure. Beignets. We have another one of Merida, I think we just got this one. So there's a duplicate, that might be only a couple of duplicates. Um, here is another bell, she's looking at the rose. Again, not sure if we've received this one in the past. Possibly. And this one we have definitely not received. This is them taking Aurora back to the palace um, the day before her birthday. And she's sad because she's supposed to be meeting Prince Philip, who she does not know is a prince. So I'm going to have to go back and rewatch loads of my Disney movies. Um, I recently got it a car boot because I never had it 
before I got Wally. I've seen it, but I never um, bought the DVD because I normally watch a DVD when I'm doing crafts or something. So there's not a lot of talking in Wally, so you kind of have to watch it. Whereas when you're watching a DVD, you're hearing the voices. You don't have to necessarily see the facial expressions, but you would have to know what was going on with with that one. So. Here is Rapunzel and Flynn Rider. And then we have another Belle and the Beast. It's a nice one. And we have another Cinderella one. This is her fleeing to the pumpkin coach. I've only got one Snow White today so far. There's an aerial one, she's dancing. And this is Tiana looking kind of lost. I think this is right before Prince Naveen gets her to kiss him. <laughs> and come on, shiny sticker. I want a shiny one again. I like my shiny ones. Oh, I got a fabric one. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's a nice one. Wow, that's lovely. That's stunning. That's my favorite one so far. Look at that. You can't see how lovely and shiny it is, but it's just, that's a really nice sticker. I like that. So that one is Rapunzel, which is there. We have one of Rapunzel and I cannot remember what the little chameleon's name is. Pascal. We have one of Rapunzel with Pascal. Then we have a close-up of Aurora. And that goes there. We have a duplicate of Ariel. This is the one we've just got of her dancing. So then we also have another Aurora. This one seems to be like maybe um, a head... Yeah, this looks like one I have to add. It's... it's like a head one so it's yeah it's not the whole sticker so awesome last two packets come on shiny ones come on shiny ones i don't think i've got any shiny ones for snow white yet so that would be kind of nice if i could get a shiny snow white sticker okay no i didn't but i got a picture of rapunzel with her short dark hair And, oh, there's a duplicate there of Belle looking at the rose. Yay, another Cinderella one. And, unfortunately, another Cinderella one, but a duplicate Cinderella one. And a close-up of Ariel looking very, very dazzling. Last packet, guys. shiny sticker did I get a shiny sticker I think I got a D sticker I did so I've got Merida and we have another oh this one's kind of broken it's okay it's fine but yeah so it's a bell she's got lots of blush on look at that a lot of blush oh there it is well we have a <laughs> A screenshot of Sebastian singing Kiss the Girl. Oh yay, we have some Snow White stickers. Oh, what a way to finish. We have Dark. And we have a close-up of Snow White. Awesome. I was getting worried there. <laughs> okay, let us start sticking these bad boys in. All right, so who do we start with? We will start with Cinderella. We actually got quite a few Cinderellas today, so it's pretty cool. Let's move some of these stickers up. We only got one Aladdin one. Huh, I did not realize. Awesome, so we got a number 10. We got 
a number seven. We've got a number 18, which is a different page. We've got another number 10, so it's a duplicate one. We got a number 17, a number 14, and a number 20. So we got two for this page and one duplicate. So let us start. See, the thing that takes me so long with these is just peeling the sticker up. I really wish they put some sort of tab. I know I've said it before, but it would be so much easier. Maybe that maybe that's why these things take so long to do. It is a patience thing. Oh, and guess what? I was walking around the supermarket the other day. Now I went everywhere looking for a Shopkins sticker album for my goddaughter. And I was told that they've recently recalled them because I'm assuming with the new season out, you know, the Chef Club season six or whatever it is, that they recalled the old Shopkins ones um, because they've been out long enough. Apparently these only stay out for a little while. But, this is the weird thing to me, when I went in like three, four days ago, there was a brand new Shopkins sticker album out which I was kind of frustrated about, but I think, I think fate worked out well for me because actually, like, I don't know the names of Shopkins. I was probably going to get one for her and some stickers and one for me and some stickers. So I'm kind of glad that this worked out the way, the way it did because I'm really enjoying the princess one. And, uh, yeah, so... You can lose a glass slipper, but never your smile. Even when bad luck strikes, think positive and always hold your head up high, just like Cinderella. How wonderful. So we have a number 20, which is not on this page, a number 14, which is, a number 17, which is, and number 18. So we've got three on this page. How exciting. I forgot there was three pages of Cinderella. Number eight. We haven't filled the builder. Okay, let's not sing Bob the Builder while we're filling in our sticker album, shall we? <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so weird. So yeah, I'm glad I went for this one instead. Um, it must have been fate because I went everywhere looking for Shopkins because Shopkins are popular. I thought it would be a really nice video to do and maybe something that, you know, when I got duplicates, I could give them to my goddaughter and they wouldn't be wasted. It'd be nice. And uh, she loves Disney princesses too, but not as much as she loves Shopkins. So, yeah. I probably should have got her a Disney princess album, but she's got a load of Shopkins coming for her Christmas presents. So I couldn't really afford to add extra onto her present without adding extra onto all my other godchildren's. Because they're going to have the same. It's got to be fair. So. Yeah. It's very frustrating to me. Because. I hate when people give. One. Priced present to one child. And the other one gets something. That is quite blatantly. Not of the same value. That really bugs me. It's like children are not stupid. They know. They can at least look at something and go, well, that costs more than this, or at least probably. Um, if I buy them something that quite obviously is cheaper, then I add to it. For example, I have bought my goddaughter that I'm talking about, I have bought her a full case of Shopkins, but she is not having the full case of Shopkins because that is like ridiculously expensive. So I'm going to use... I'm going to open some of the Shopkins in a video so that I can see what the Shopkins are like. Um, the season 5 ones. And she will probably get them after some of them have been opened. She'll get at least half the box completely new, unopened. So that's like 15 packs. And then I will open some in a video. And yeah. So I will open some and she will get the rest and she'll probably get some of the ones that I've opened but you know then with my godson um, her brother I needed to make it look the same 
so I bought him a load of Mushy Monsters and um, Disney uh, minifigure things so that they both get a load of little mystery packets. It's not just, oh, I only got one gift. Because kids don't, the value isn't necessarily what gets kids. It's like if one child gets a present this big and one child gets a present that's like the size of a table, then they, you know, they're like, but his is bigger than mine. So it's, yeah, it's, I wanted to be fair. So we have done our Cinderella stickers. That is awesome. Merida. Okay, now, I believe one of these is a D sticker, so I will keep that there. And then we have sticker number two. Oh, okay, sticker number two. Right, sticker number two. Yeah, Merida. All right, let's stick this on. It's actually slightly different colors, which is kind of weird. Oh, that is wonky. Okay, back to Merida. Awesome. This is this the first page of Merida? Yes, it is. Okay, so we have a fabric sticker, which is number 28, which is this one. I've actually almost filled this page. This is pretty cool. Number 40. It's on the other side. Number 33. That goes there. Number 36. So, ooh, this is pretty cool. We've literally only got one sticker left on this page. It's awesome. I love these fabric stickers. They're so pretty. They're a little bit more flimsy, but they are really, really nice stickers. I don't feel like they're quite as sticky, but I think once they're fused, that's it. You're not going to get them back up, you know? <laughs> really, really pretty. And I love the fact it's glittery, but it's not coming off on my hands like really rough so you do that and it's like oh it's all over my hands so it says um a girl who uses a bow and arrow better than a knight may not be what you'd expect in a princess but she proves that it pays to be bold but is definitely not interested in being married off the scottish archer aims to realize her own dreams not those of others and look how she manages to hit the bullseye perfectly it's basically one of those um you, you know, you work hard. She might have been good at archery, but it doesn't mean anything if she doesn't like archery. So you find something that you enjoy and you get better at it. You don't just expect to be the best at it straight away. I mean, there's no way that that would happen. I think I'm getting better at these. Like, I'm actually managing to stick these things on without taking 20 minutes. That's pretty awesome. Oop. There's only two pages of Merida. So we have a number 40 and a number 36. So we have literally one, two, three, we've got four stickers left to fill Merida. So we're gonna be getting lots of duplicate Merida stickers, I think. Um, probably. <laughs> number 40. I need to watch Brave again, actually, because I remember the basic plot. You know, she's really good at archery and she doesn't want to be married off. She wants to pick someone who... I think she wanted a rule, didn't she? She thought she was as good as any of the knights. Um, in fact, she thought she was better than most of them because they couldn't shoot a bow and arrow. So they couldn't protect. But her mother wants her to marry off and she doesn't want to so does she run away or does she i can't remember it's been so long since i watched it and i've only seen it once i really need to rewatch it i think it's at my mum's so i'm gonna have to bring that home bring him home i miss <laughs> so i'm really looking forward to 
the what is it um the new um the new disney if you will not i don't mean the new film that's coming out i mean like the way disney are now taking the reins and they're gonna be going back over some of their old stuff and i say rehashing but oops, sorry there was a metal bucket under the table and i didn't see it not rehashing in like a bad way i mean they're taking some of the ones that are just true classics and they're just morphing them into true classics for a newer, older Disney generation. So we have a number 60, we have a number 61, we have two number 42s. Oh no, <laughs> we already had that one. So we have two duplicates. We have a number 58, we have a 53, we have a 51 and we have a 54. So we have none for this entire page. Aw, sad face. <laughs> okay, so what did we have? We had 54, which we already have. So there's a duplicate. We have a 51, yeah. We have a 53, which is another duplicate. 58, which is on the next page. 61 which is on the next page and a 60 which is on the next page so we got one for this page oh man i was like yay we got loads of aerials and they all look new because obviously you know it's been like three weeks two and a half weeks something like that since i've done any sticker album thing so heartbreaking <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely getting better at lining these up. <laughs> at least I like to tell myself that. <laughs> so, oh, I like this. It says, the treasure chest of wishes. It says, on the beach, pick up an empty shell, wash it carefully, whisper your dream to it, and wrap it in a ribbon. When your wish comes true, open up the shell and set your dream free. It's quite nice. All right, so we have number 60. We have a number 61. And we have a number 58, which I already had. Darn it. So there's lots of aerial um, stickers yet to find. We're almost finished with Merida. But she only had two pages. So, I mean, it's kind of logical that we would finish hers quicker than, you know, like Cinderella, who had three pages. So, number 60. And number 61, this is Ariel looking very jazzy while using her dingle hopper. There we go. Lovely. So out of all of those stickers, we managed to put down three. Kind of sad about that. <laughs> We have a D sticker, so I'll put that there. We have a number 79 that is on the next page. We have that one, which is number 66. We have, that is a duplicate. Number 70, which we have, that is a duplicate. We have number 75, so we've got none for this page. We've got number 75, which is there, and number 79, which is there. So we've got two Tiana stickers out of all of those. <laughs> See, they like, I've never done one of these before. I don't know if I'll do another one in the future. Maybe if they bring another one out that I, like, really want to do. This one, I at least know the characters and I know the backstory. Like, can you imagine me trying to figure out who a Shopkin was? I'd be like, this one kind of looks like a cookie. <laughs> this one kind of looks like a shoe. So I would have no clue about the shoe. <laughs> 75. It says, for me, a dash of effort can help you reach any goal. It's true, actually, you know, if you don't put any effort in, 
then you're just, you're not going to get anywhere in life. If you just skate through and think, oh, I'll just, you know, wait and see what drops in my lap. Well, nothing ever will because you haven't earned any of it. You haven't been out there to find it, to get these opportunities. Sometimes talking to somebody that, you know, you think it's not going to do anything, but actually, you know, maybe they're working out for a new company that you could also get a job with, or maybe they have an idea that you haven't thought of. It's, it's pretty awesome. You don't know who you're talking to. You don't know what's going to happen. So that's pretty cool. We have lots of Beauty and the Beast stickers. Do I have any shiny ones? I don't think so. Okay, we have a number 82, which I believe is this one. Yes, it is. So that's a duplicate. We have number 96, that's on the next page. We have number 86, which is this one, so that's a duplicate. We have number 96, oh, that's a duplicate because that's that one. And then we have, I believe, number 84, yes, we have that one. Yay, we have one on this page. 92 is the next page. 93. And number 90. Yay, we got one. Guys, we got one. We get to do this one. So these are my favorite ones to do because you get to line them all up and it looks amazing. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Writing down even the craziest dream makes it seem more likely to happen. Whether it's a long list or just one wish, seeing it on paper will help you work out how to achieve it. Supposedly. Alright, number 90 goes there. The other ones are 93, 92, and 96. So they're behind my middle page. I'm kind of glad I did 10 packs of stickers today it's gonna I mean I am kind of rushing through them a little bit because you know five packets of stickers was taking me easily like 40 minutes so I'm trying to get this to about an hour and do more so I'm rushing a little bit I'm not gonna lie um, yeah. what do you guys think of my pink nail polish Pretty fancy, huh? I'm so fancy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to do the middle pages last. So we got 92 and 93. Oh, and 96, so that's on the next page. So that's... I thought that was going to be the last page for Belle, but apparently there's another page. Who knew? So, come on, Mr. Sticker. Come on, I don't like bending all the corners up. It looks bad. <laughs> 93. When Belle dances with the beast, she realizes that any story be can become a wonderful fairy tale. All you need to do is think for yourself and look beyond appearances. It's very true. You need to look beyond beyond appearances. Wonderful. 96. Oh, I have that one out of the way. Darn it. <laughs> I'm so excited then. So Snow White's tip is to never panic, be willing to change your mind and face each situation calmly. Good idea, Snow. So we've got number 113, number 107, yay. And number 106, which we have. So we have a dock sticker who is right here it's sticking down Oop, that is not a 
could fit. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, let us try and get him nicely. Let's try and fit him through his arm. I think that's going to be my best bet. I get his arm in. There we go. It's not perfect, but it's close. <laughs> Oh gosh, I do love this man. Seriously, I'm kind of... <laughs> Dopey is my favourite. Possibly Grumpy. Dopey, Grumpy, Dopey, Grumpy. Ooh, who do I like more? I don't know. Number 113. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the biggest dreamer of them all? That is probably actually Sleeping Beauty because she spends half the movie asleep. Just saying. Got no strings to hold me down, to make me fret, make me frown. I don't know why I'm singing that right now, but I think it has something to do with um, there's a new advert on YouTube where there's lots of celebrities wearing beats and they're listening to I got no strings to hold me down. Make me fat, make me fat. <laughs> All right, so we didn't get many of Aurora last time. So, to protect from Maleficent's spell, the three fairy godmothers raise Aurora far from the castle in a cottage in the woods and change her name to Briar Rose. But class is a rare quality, her grace and elegance are unmistakable. We have 179, so that must be on the back page, so I'll put that up here. 116, that's her front picture. 130, that's on the next page. 133, that's on the next page. 138, that's on the next page. 134, that's on the next page. Ah. I was like, oh, I've got so many stickers, I'm bound to have at least, you know, a couple. No! I thought I had it perfect. Quick, peel it back up. No. No. Peel it. Oh, I'm a good guy. Seriously. I was like, oh my god, that's so perfect. I'm just going to press it down. And then it wasn't perfect. I think it needs to go slightly lower, like there. No, that's wonky. Okay, let's try it from the side. Let's put our hair and her shoulder. Hmm, maybe the sticker page is a bit wonky. I don't know. Sometimes they don't match up quite right all the way across. It's just kind of annoying. Or you gotta twist them in a slightly weird way. That's kind of annoying too. Yeah, like this one is like, if I stretch it so that it covers all of the the white and it doesn't quite fit the rest of her but what can I do what can I do huh it's on now it just didn't seem to quite match the background some of them I think are just not quite right 134 138 130 there's a 130 I always love the owl. Do you guys remember the owl? Like, he obviously, like, I don't, I wouldn't say he loves Aurora, like, romantic love, but he really cares about her. And the way he, like, when he tries to be the prince and he's all like, oh, <laughs> it's so sweet. It's really cute. It's probably my favourite part in the whole movie is when he and the animals dress up in Prince Philippe's clothes <laughs> and uh, dance with her. <laughs> it's so cute. It's really just adorable. Um, and then Prince Philippe comes along and hangs him up on a on a tree branch, and he's just like. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> So I've been doing a lot of crochet recently. Um, 
been raising money for the British Legion. I've been making poppies. And I've been selling them locally to raise money for an animal charity and for the British Legion. Why am I doing it for both? Because I support an animal charity and I bought all the wool and did all the work. And I was like, if I'm going to do this, I want two charities to benefit. So it's not like I've taken money from the British Legion. They are getting extra money because I've done it. But they are also... I'm also giving money to another charity that does not get government funding, so helping out two charities, which is nice. So basically what I did was half the money, exactly half the money goes to this animal charity and half the money goes to the Royal British Legion. So that's pretty cool, I think. You guys should look up if you can do anything like that, like if you can make something, you know, like cupcakes or anything like that and sell it to raise money for one of your favourite charities, that would be pretty cool. Tell my I sent you. <laughs> but I'm always looking for ideas of um, things that I can do to help, because I mean, don't get me wrong, like... Because I'm an anxiety sufferer, I don't tend to do a lot of like going out and talking to people and meeting and greeting and stuff like that. So if I can make something behind the scenes and raise money, then that is an awesome way. So like even if you can't get out or you're not overly crafty, perhaps you could arrange something, you know, a sponsor or something like that. This page is looking nice. It's looking very pretty. I'm loving that this seems to be all about Prince Philippe and her. It's very, very cute pictures. I love these. Ooh, we're on to Jasmine. And the only sticker we got is number 141, which is this one down here. So I'm really surprised because, like, Aladdin is one of the biggest movies, I would say, one of the most popular movies that, Disney have done in a long time you know The Lion King being one of the other ones but I've only got one sticker so maybe she's a little bit harder to get up with <laughs> to get up with to find maybe she's just a little bit harder to find so we got no more we've now got just Rapunzel left yes just Rapunzel left and we're just coming up to 45 minutes so I've been pretty good so that's 174, that's 156, so that's that one, yay. 159, that's that one. 176, that's on the other page. 172, that's on the other page. And that's one of the D stickers, so I'll put that there. I got three of the D stickers. That's pretty cool. One, five, three. I was... <laughs> almost tempted not to film today but it's the last day my dad is able to go out um, car booting because the season is now way over well I say car booting they went they went to a local um, semi-local I, I, I'm gonna say it's a car boot it, it's it's not exactly a car boot. They've gone into our local big town, city, place, local to us. Um, and there's also nearby, like a sale going on, like where people take their stuff. So it's kind of like a car boot, but it's not car boot season. Um, but basically, I was like, I really want to go. <laughs> um, I just was like, it's cold and it's windy and everything, but I really want to go. <laughs> but I stayed home and I fell asleep, um, which was really stupid, so I've not got as much time to film. But uh, I may or may not have 
falling asleep while watching NCIS. <laughs> I love NCIS. One seven six. I got that one. That is a duplicate. One seven four. So I got two on this page. That's pretty cool. But she's back to a three page spread. I don't think all the princesses were three pages. So it says, with a little bravery and the help of the streetwise Flynn, Rapunzel's dream of going to the Skylander Festival comes true. So basically, it's that whole you know, if you dream it. It's kind of what the whole thing is, really, isn't it? It's like if you can dream it it can happen but not always true I'm never going to be able to fly without uh, an airplane so not always <laughs> 172 and oh, that is not flat there we go that's better so as the pages get more full, it looks really good. I'm really liking it. Oh, yep, yeah, here's, here's Rapunzel. Here is Aurora. Let's make sure to get her all stuck it on nice. There we go. And then we gotta go back to the middle page because no, we got a Rapunzel. Oh my god, there's so many Rapunzels. We got D3. It's the first Rapunzel. I think we had, over the god knows how many packets we opened last time, we got maybe three of the middle sticker bits. Maybe. Ooh, almost broke it. And then we opened this up. Oh, we got um, a bell. A Jasmine and a Merida. So we've got another Merida. It's a different one. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, we've, we've completed Merida. We have completed Merida. Woo! And we got a Tiana. So that is awesome. I'm so excited that we've completed one of these. That's fabulous. There's so many more to get. It's like, oh, I've completed one. What's the betting that <laughs> she's like the easiest to get or something? <laughs> and then it'll be like, oh yeah, that'll be great. I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll just get more of the bell or something. Yeah, these are a little bit off center. There's always a little bit of room on the side, but never mind. So that was our sticker book for today. I might do another one in a minute just so that I've got extra to edit um, because I have time. <laughs> Don't ask me how, I think I'll have lunch first. Um, and we didn't do too bad. We opened 10 packets of stickers, which gives us 50 stickers. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, so almost three packets of duplicates. That's quite high, but it's not as bad as I expected for ten packets, <laughs> so I can live with that. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I will probably have another one of these up for you in the next week or so, um, being like 40 50 minute videos they do take a while to edit and they certainly take a long time to upload oh my god like the last one was something like 19 hours and uh, it wouldn't have been so bad you know 19 hours I put it on around about six at night and it goes through all the way to like 12 the next day or something um, but it wouldn't be so bad if my internet had not completely um, gone. Well, actually, I don't think it was the internet. Basically, it was my antivirus. Um, while I was asleep, it popped up, I'm assuming, and uh, did automatic updates and completely shut my computer down, um, or restarted it, rather. And uh, so when I woke up the next morning, it was on something like 46%, but it was done. So I had to delete it, and I had to wait until the next night before I could upload it again because I had to work the next day and I can't leave my computer on when I go to work so 
that was kind of gutting. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so so much for watching. I will see you again soon with another sticker album book. Or, in case I'm too lazy to edit any more this week, it'll be a different video. Maybe a shorter one. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Alright guys, see you again soon.